What's up all you sales and marketing pros on growth teams all around the world. I want to talk about funnels, pipelines, CRM, how we do our work and how we track it. There's a bunch of apps out there that say, you know what, I'm going to help you with that. Salesforce is probably the most recognizable one, but we have some up and comers like Pipedrive and HubSpot that have come into the mix and almost everything looks about the same. You have your pipeline. Kanban is all their age now, but they used to be account list and more spreadsheet style. So pipe drive, Salesforce, HubSpot, all looking kind of like this. But if you're just getting started or you don't want to purchase a CRM, you're probably tracking your companies and contacts and a bit of a pipeline, something kind of like this in an Excel spreadsheet or in a Google Sheet. All of it looks about the same. And over here at Coda, we say a bit of uh, enough of this sheet. We're tired of tracking things in Google Sheets and spreadsheets. And the apps that we use, like Salesforce and HubSpot, they're super rigid and hard to spin up and costly and timely. And if we we're just trying to prototype a process or my entire sales team is myself, let's build something light and fun. So what this looks like in Coda. Let's hop over to create a first Coda doc for us. Go to your URL browser and type in coda.new. And you know what that does? That creates a new Coda doc for us to start uh, coming through quick and fast and, and easy. So we got a, a blank doc. Let's create our first contacts table. It's going to feel a bit like a spreadsheet now where we're going to name it contacts and we can put in our contact names and our phone numbers and our email addresses, all the things that we have housed in spreadsheets or our CRM. And by the way, we can pull in a, a CSV. We don't have to build this from scratch, but good to build things from scratch. So going through phone number and we're filling out. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit as I, I go through and fill out all of this information to make it feel a bit more real. All right. So here we got the companies putting a few more. Now that status in your sheet is going to probably be text, but in Coda, you can make your docs become as powerful as apps. And what I mean by that is that status now shows up in another table. So what I'm doing is I have this table as connected automatically to the context table. I'm going to do the same for my companies, create them in what we call a lookup or a new table. I can then connect the two together. If I add new companies, it will show up there on the select list. No weird V lookups, no hacks and definitely not needing to spin up an entire CRM to do this. So let me just put some metadata on this company information that you can see here, and we'll move on to the, the next part. So now that I've got my companies and contacts, I'm going to drag and pull those tables into their own pages. So now we have three pages in our Coda doc, and I'm gonna create a new one for us. This is gonna be where we're housing our entail sales opportunity uh, pipeline. So I'm going to name this page, I'm going to pick an icon a bit later, I'm going to leave it blank now, it's an opportunities table. The opportunity name is always a little funky. We can talk a bit more about this later, but I just want to have a name column and a few other things that I normally like to put a close date, that's a date column so that I can see everything coming through and, and when it's going to land. And then the last thing that I want to do, similar to before, is throw on the, the status. We can uh, see a few of the, the new phases that I'll put through. Go and change this over to rainbow. Looks a lot better. And I love the colors. It just makes it a lot more fun and less like a, a boring spreadsheet. Pick your favorite colors. You can even throw in emojis if you want on these. Sum up those amounts so I understand everything in the pipeline. I'll probably do a weighted pipeline if I was going to the next phase, but I'm going to keep this nice and blank and simple. Now what I want to do is start creating some different data viz for, for this. So you, you saw back there that HubSpot and Salesforce and Pipedrive, all the rage is the card view. So what I'm doing is I'm recreating that. I'm grouping all of my opportunities on the top by the phase in the pipeline. And I want to show empty groups. It's when you're just getting started, close one, close loss, probably not going to have anything in there. And if I remove things from negotiation to close one and there's nothing in negotiation, I want to keep that group open for me to fill out. I'm going to throw on a new opportunity here. When I put on a new opportunity in the, the card or the Kanban view, it's going to show up in the table above. 
these two views are automatically connected. So any updates I'm making this shifting in a close one, you can see that it just moved to close one up top. Same with the TK, TK. So everything is connected and it all flows through in a really nice manner. So now that we have all the data uh, together, what I wanna do is start creating views for myself. So oftentimes you have like a rep or an opportunity owner. I'm gonna put um, myself on it. I'm the only one in the doc. If you were to start inviting other people to the doc, you can do it through Google Contacts, Slack, or other people within your Google workspace. So that's what I'll do now. I'm gonna pull in Koi, who's a coworker of mine. Now I'm gonna create my own John's Opportunity View which will allow me to come into this doc and not have to look at all the other opportunities. I just get to focus on mine and I'm gonna create a new filter, pull it down to just an owner myself. I could have also done current user so that anyone when they logged in would just see their own pipeline. John logs in, I see it, Koi logs in, he sees his. I'm gonna to shift to move things around. This isn't impacting the other views that we're seeing there in sales opportunity. It's only impacting John's view right here because I'm going to create my own unique view in the way that I like to see it while not having to impact others. I don't have to copy and paste. I don't have to ask a sales hop admin to put everything together. All right. And the last thing I want to do is just hide stuff that doesn't really matter. I'm going to throw that status into the, the admin section. So now that we have companies and contacts, I'm going to make the company's view a little bit cooler, or you can think of it kind of like a card view in any way that you want. So I often see a company has a H1, it's nice and big and bold, and then there's all these sub tables down below for the contacts and the opportunities that you can see here. So when you open it up, those lookups now show up as little sub tables and each of these rows I can have conversations on. So super easy to collaborate if and when you, you start inviting others into this doc. All right, and the last thing that I wanna do is just pull in some imagery. So I'm gonna copy and paste some images from Google Images, pull in the logos, start putting some color and some imagery in here to make it a lot more fun. So that's the, the quick and dirty of how to create a basic sales pipeline, CRM, companies, contacts, whether it's for sales, marketing, or whatnot. In a Coda doc, it's going to feel a bit more uh, robust than a sheet. You're not gonna get trapped in the, the text or A1, B2 prison. It's gonna be much lighter weight to prototype new processes than spinning up a completely custom CRM like Pipedrive, Salesforce, or HubSpot. So if you wanna learn more about how I think about CRMs, how I've actually built our internal CRM, here at Coda, there's a really awesome webinar that I did with our resident uh, Coda expert and educational specialist, Maria. And we spent about an hour talking to this, invited a whole bunch of people from the Coda community like Marissa and Benjamin to ask questions and uh, talk about how we all think about building CRMs. The link is in the show notes and super excited for all to, to try out Coda for this use case. Thanks everyone.